Australian director Chris Stenders hit the big time with Red Dog, which won the hearts of local audiences, as well as taking out the Best Film Gong at the inaugural Actor Awards in 2012. Now he's trying something completely different, a black comedy thriller starring English actor Simon Pegg. Kill Me Three Times has just premiered at the Toronto Film Festival to rave reviews. From Toronto, here's Ed Gibbs. We're here in Toronto at the world's most hectic film festival, where over 250 films are screening across 10 days. One of the highlights for Australia is Kill Me Three Times, the new film from Kriv Stenders. And this much anticipated follow-up to Red Dog couldn't be any more different. A wry, sly crime caper, it stars Simon Pegg as an unlikely assassin in the fictional seaside town of Eagle's Nest. And we caught up with the cast and crew at the Screen Australia party to find out more. And this script came to me completely left of centre. I had a week to make a decision to whether I was going to do it or not. And I read it and I loved it. And I realised this is actually wonderful and I know how to make it. And you just, you just trust your gut. I said, look, I think the first thing you've got to do is cast a comedian as the... As, as the hitman, and at that point we hadn't thought of Simon, um, but I just knew tonally that if you went the generic standard way, the film would sort of die. This isn't horrible. It's quite sort of uh, a totally amoral sort of homicidal maniac. <laughs> and that was great fun. I usually try and find something of myself in my characters. It was difficult to find anything of myself in Charlie Wolf because he's such an utter bastard. But uh, you know what, that's fun to play, I think. There's a beautiful sense of collaboration when I come back home and get to work with Aussie Cruz and it's just a smaller, more home-like vibe, which I prefer in many ways. And then it's really fun to go and do big studio films too, but um, I feel like I, I inject so much more of myself into these smaller films, which is really nice. Kill Me Three Times heads next to the UK, where it'll screen at the BFI London Film Festival next month. Meanwhile, here in Toronto, deals are being done, films are being sold, and audiences are lapping up the most likely contenders for next year's Academy Awards. Kill Me Three Times will be in Australian cinemas in 2015. 